was high still and the cruel deed was over gone was the man who loved Ireland so well there is many a sad heart in the land that morning when they murdered James Conley, the Irish rebel. The love I bear for these men, the love for my dear land. But when he called me to his side down in the GPO, I had to leave my own sin to him. I had to nation proud and free and our sisters and our brothers first aid and provided food and some used arms alongside their male comrades the best known of these women was the countess markovich born into a privileged background she was a pa she was passionate about irish freedom In 1965, the British government agreed to repatriate to Ireland the remains of Sir Roger Casement, provided they were not buried in Northern Ireland. The Irish government decided to enter the remains with the other 1916 rebels in the rebellion plot in Glasnevin Cemetery in Dublin. And to quote a line, we have 20,000 rifles already for to lend but no answering signal came to them from lonely Bannister. Our German ship was signalling beyond doubt in the bay with 20,000 rifles all ready for to land but no answering signal came from the lonely Bannister. No answering signal from the shore, Sir Roger sadly sang. To you, O oh God, we long to sing a new song of compassion, inclusion and engagement in a spirit of true freedom. You know our frail hearts and our frayed history, and now another day begins. Help us to believe in beginnings and sing a new song for Ireland. Mulla Gudio Ladia. Thomas Francis Maher. Born in Waterford, he was an Irish nationalist and leader of the Young Islanders in the rebellion of 1848. He was put on a convict ship and transported for life to Van Diemen's Land, Australia. He escaped on an American ship and settled in New York. He studied law and worked as a journalist and travelled to present lectures on the Irish cause. He fought in the American Civil War and rose to the rank of Brigadier General in the Union Army, leading the Irish Brigade. Following the Civil War, 
he was acting governor of the Montana Territory. He died on board a paddle steamer on the Missouri River. His body was never found, presumed drowned. The flag he presented to the Irish people, the green, white and gold, this flag flies proudly over the land today and over Irish embassies throughout the world.